Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is my bathroom, as you can see. So today we're going to do skincare again because this is something that has been requested on my Instagram on the Q&A that I did the other day. So that's what we're gonna do. I did it empties the other day, which products that I have used in the past couple of years and that I finished and that I recommended. So that's kind of different because like I upgraded my skincare game a little bit or a lot bit actually in the past even few months I got a lot of new products I am testing a lot of different um, formulas and stuff so uh, this is what we're gonna do today and um, yeah I hope you like it let's jump into it so the first product that I'm going to show you, I'm going to cleanse my face. Now, I usually don't cleanse my face in the mornings if I do my skincare right right first thing in the morning, unless I train, which I often do. It's not focusing. It's focusing on my face. So here you go. It's focusing now. This is from a brand called uh, Crate Lab. And it's a uh, Belgian brand, I think. And I recently started using this product. This is a Hydra Micellar Cleansing Gel. And what I love about this uh, gel, um, cleansing gel, is that it doesn't leave your skin feeling like cardboard because that's pretty much the worst quality on cleansing uh, gels. I hate it when you wash your face and it makes it feel like you are literally a um, stone. I love this little thing. So let me just wash my face really quick right now. I'm like I have you sitting on my sink, so I'm gonna use my husband's sink to wash my face, and I will be I will be right back. So I'm putting two pumps of this. Then I make a little foam. It's such a nice product because it really feels like it really goes in there and cleanses, but it doesn't make you feel dry which I love because I hate having a dry skin. Okay, let's rinse this. You should never wipe your face like after drying it. You just kind of just pat it to dry it. Once I do that, I am going to use a um, cotton pad and I'm going to use my toner. So like I use this toner, it's very gentle, but it also smells like rose petal. This is the rose petal one. Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula, alcohol-free toner. Again, alcohol-free, uh, it's perfect because I don't like, you know, sometimes there's toners that just make you feel super tight and I hate that feeling. Once I am done with a toner, I kind of, I love this product so much, you guys. Caudalie, Caudalie, that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. It's a beauty elixir, smoothing, glowing complexion. It just makes you feel so refreshed. It smells so good. But then also one, another thing that I learned throughout the past few years is that it's better to start applying your skincare when your uh, skin is still a bit moist. So like I always kind of bring back the moist with this. And then before it, it um, before it dries out, I go immediately after my toner, I do this and then I do my serum, which I kind of like, it depends on the day. Sometimes I use some one thing, sometimes I use another thing. Sometimes I use my um, hyaluronic acid and I really love the one from The Ordinary. There you go. But today I'm going to use this product that I received, um, last week it's the good genes good genes uh, glycolic acid treatment this is by Sunday Riley and yeah so like I do just it's close <laughs> just a couple of pumps I am like quite good at not overusing product my husband like I'm trying to get him into skincare and when I see the amount of stuff he puts in his skin like he he like definitely overdoes it and he's like oh my, my skin feels so oily and i'm like well you just put three kilo of moisturizer oh this really feels good it's just like it's really hydrating but it also feels like really bouncy i don't really know how to explain it 
probably bouncy is not the right way to um, describe this. Oh my god, this this is driving me crazy. I only do this when I do my uh, cleansing. I don't do it the whole time. So now that the serum is in my skin, oh, I don't know if you can see it. It's just it just feels so good. It's like really hydrated and it just feels really great on the skin. So I think I'm going to be a fan of this product. I'm going to apply my um, eye cream. I usually go between these two eye creams. I use the um, Ulla Henriksen. Oh my God, are you gonna focus? There you go. Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I really like this eye cream. And sometimes I do the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm really struggling with the focus. Char Charlotte Tilbury Eye Rescue, Magic Eye Rescue Cream. This is not staying in my hair. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna get rid of this. <laughs> and we're gonna go for the bun. And that's it. So I go between these two eye creams, but I'm gonna use this one for today because this is like, I usually kind of go for, in the night I use the Charlotte Tilbury and in the day I use the Ulla Henriksen because it's just more brightening and it has like kind of this underglow that I really like. I find it super hard to get my eye cream out because my nails are so long. So I just have to like scoop it out with my nail. And then I know that you're not supposed to, like, you're not supposed to drag, you said, the cream. You're supposed to dab it because the skin around your eyes is, like, really sensitive. And the last thing you want is to have, like, saggy eye skin uh, when you're older because you, like, pulled when you were younger. But honestly... I always forget. <laughs> it's just easy to drag the cream than dab it, to be quite honest. I find it a little bit difficult. Also, you're supposed to do it with your ring finger because your ring finger is your weakest finger. I have heard, but I guess I always do it wrong. You know, I used to be obsessed with matte skin back in the day and I hate it when my skin looks shiny. I think we all did actually. Um, but nowadays in the past few years, like I just like give me some glow and shine I just want to feel like my skin is super Hydrated and like, you know, it just looks healthy and back in the day was like mattify me and I don't want that So one step that I did forget that I do actually in the very beginning um, I put some um, um, Oh my god, I'm glitching, I'm glitching. Lip balm, I'm, I put some lip balm and I have all sorts of different lip balms but like my favorites are always like the glossier ones. They're so used and abused that they're almost completely empty but unfortunately they don't sell glossier in, in the Netherlands. So I always get it when I go to the US or I, you know, order it to friends in the UK and then they just have to ship it to me. This is a peach uh no this is the coconut flavor this is the the rose but my favorite is the birthday.com because it's like really it's like vanilla i think I, and i love the mango those are my two favorites but i really have them oh and the cherry one because it has a little bit of a rose like a like a red tint mm, but i really love all of them to be honest so now we have um the cleanser the toner the serum the eye cream and I'm going to go for my moisturizer. Again, the moisturizer changes depending on the day. If it's like, if I feel like my skin is really dry and it's um, the middle of winter, I always try to like put as much moisture in my skin as possible, even though I'm doing already all these steps. But this cream by Ole, which was also in my empties, I believe, this stuff is, <clears throat> oh my God, I love it so much. I love this cream. It's a uh, the C Rush Brightening Double Cream. It smells amazing, but also it has this like kind of buttery texture, and it's just very very rich, but not like in a oily way. I don't know how to explain it. This stuff is amazing. It's really funny when you watch videos of people doing their skincare, 
everybody has kind of their own technique of applying the creams the way they do it with their fingers or like the way they apply it on the face and stuff i always find it so fascinating i mean this is the most random thing ever and i don't even know what i'm talking about this but I love watching like little human behaviors and like how people do certain things but yeah oh my god you see like it's can you see the shine oh this cream is so good and also has an amazing smell I really um I really love Ola Henriksen's products I've been using them for so long right now I'm feeling quite um I'm feeling quite hydrated but I still need to add my sunblock because I do not go outside without sunblock. I kind of go through sunblocks. I finish one and then I try something else and then I try something else. And at the moment I am using this. There you go. It's um, V Sun Take Care uh, UVA, UBV, Infrared High Protection and it's waterproof. I really like this. This is not super expensive. It smells amazing, it smells like coconut. Here's my sunblock. Usually I get more hyperpigmentation on this area and I also you do you I also do use retinol. So even more so it's super important to wear SPF. So this also really smells so good. You know, it's funny because back in the day when I started my skincare routine I used to wash my face and put moisturizer and that was pretty much it And that was enough. I mean, I guess, I don't know, is that enough? I have no idea. I'm no expert so I'm not gonna tell you that's not enough. You have to do more But I was always afraid to like cake on products. Okay, my camera just stopped. I don't know. Sh I'm not sure why uh, but I was, I was, as I was saying, I was afraid to cake on product and thought it was gonna end up being like super oily And I realize now that it's about the products that you put in your skin If you put the wrong products and you put them all at once Yeah, it might be counterproductive But I managed to figure out the right stuff from my skin And I keep like finding more and more and more stuff That really, you know, agrees with my skin Five years ago I had terrible cystic acne on this area on my face because of chronic stress. I was just like stressed out of my mind. My dad passed away and kind of triggered all this. And you know, from that moment, I started to be very, very conscious about the stuff that I was putting in my face. And I started to try like trial and error of the products that I, that I was finding that were really working for me. Even with combination skin, I still able to layer all these products. So I guess that means that it's okay to layer all these products. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is like, this is as much as I go for my skincare. If I am going to go out or if I feel like doing my makeup because I'm gonna shoot content or whatever, I would then wait for my skincare to kind of like absorb a little bit more and then put my my makeup over it I wouldn't do it immediately now because as you can see it's still kind of fresh so I would do other th things and then wait for my product to absorb and then I would you know apply my makeup so yeah this is it for today uh, this is my morning skincare and as I said, things are constantly evolving these are the products that I'm using right now for the past I don't know a few months already even like a year probably the only new product the only new product is the Sunday Riley which I just got last week but I really really like it so far and you know I watched so many videos that they talk about how amazing this this is like a holy grail cult product so I will keep you posted and yeah if you have any tips on amazing products that really work for you that you love and that you've been using for years please do let me know I will come back with a different video for my night routine because my night routine is a little bit different I do use retinol in the night and I use different moisturizer and I do use a facial oil in the night I don't in the morning because I just don't want to like overdo it you can but I don't uh, so yeah uh, stay tuned for that video and I really I'm so happy that you're liking this type of content because I love 
love skincare but i never really shared that before on my channels and i don't know why and now i'm really just going for what you know sparks joy like mary gondel says <laughs> so uh i'm just going to keep sharing this and keep sharing the stuff that like really makes me excited beyond just fashion so uh thank you so much for watching and uh yeah i will speak to you soon